All right, and we're back at the TMS 2016 National Collegiate Table Tennis Championships. I'm Brian Song alongside Barney Reed. Right now we're joining a Michigan versus Texas match in the middle. Uh, actually, Michigan and Texas are playing right now on table two, and this match on table one is just getting underway. We're having the warm up, and it's between Lester Lee of Michigan and Felix Chan of Texas. I've had a chance to watch both these players this competition and I've been impressed with both of their forehands. I think yeah. we're going to be in for a lot of counter looping rallies. Hopefully we'll get some extended points. Both players have quick footwork. And we had seen in a previous match, and I believe I commentated the match with you, Lester has that reverse tomahawk serve I'd love to see that shot come out again. Nice flip there, misdirection. Felix caught Lester going to the forehand and just misdirection timed it to the backhand. This is going to be a very even match if you just go by the ratings. Both players in the high 2300s. See a bit of a service mistake there. Precision movements like serving. Sometimes you just catch the ball a little bit too high or too low. It makes a difference. I'll tell you, Brian, I really love the team spirit at this tournament. Like you can just feel it when you walk through different tables. You hear the six or seven people cheering for their one teammate. It's just amazing. Absolutely. And that, this match will be a loud one because Texas is essentially the home team here. They're not too far away in nearby Austin. And I see already a pretty sizable contingent of Texas students here to support their guys. That being said, Texas is technically the underdog. Michigan is the eighth seed in this event and Texas is the 11th seed. Wow, look at Lester's footwork there. Moving, moving, looping his forehand. Here you see the replay. Opens with the backhand, moves to the forehand. Another ball, moves to the forehand. Look at that, 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 that. move and loop. Wow, the athleticism. Awesome. And in a sport where reaction times can get into the tenths of a second, you gotta be able to move so fast. Lester showing off why most table tennis players have very strong legs. Yeah, it's not just your arm that gives you the power into the ball. It starts with your toes <laughs> and all the way up. Every other muscle in between. We had seen that serve in a previous match. His Underspin serve checks so much, it seems to stop in the middle of the air. I like what Lester's doing here. I like his control, 
keeping Felix away from Felix's big forehand. Although he's down in this game, Lester has been more active with his movements. That's a big part of the reason why he's able to come back and even it up at seven all here. Felix looks just a little bit slower. Maybe not quite awake. Umpire gives him a service warning. Go, go, go! It's a nice little comeback Lester just pulled off here. He's down 7-3. Definitely has more energy than his opponent in a sport where Points and games go by so quickly. Having a ton of energy in every point is critical. Oh. And we saw Lester pull out that reverse tomahawk at a critical juncture. And it worked to an extent. Felix totally misread it, but just catching that edge. Now that edge seems to have galvanized Felix a little bit. Now he's the one getting himself pumped up and with the lead, trying to close out this game. Again, if you notice here, Lester's able to get that forehand top spin in after he plays that backhand loop. He moves over to the left, gets that forehand in the middle. Heavy spin. I like both of these players' games. They actually play quite similar to each other, I would say. No, absolutely. Out on table two, we have a deuce in the fifth situation going on. Texas's ad. Tim Wong takes the match on table two. So UT Texas is on the board. That's the key of having good serves. It makes life easier. You can take a free point like that. You know, you get the get the guy to misread your serve. It really relaxes you in a game if you can pull out a serve and fool the guy. Lester's footwork is impressive. He loops wide forehand here, comes all the way back, plays a backhand, ready, just always moving. It's like he's jumping rope out there. Mm-hmm. It's got to be on your toes. Lester looks powerful, just right down the line. Felix was waiting in that forehand corner. He was smart to move up into the table, even though Lester was winding up to hit a kill shot. There's that serve you like to see. So far, I've only seen him use underspin on that serve, though. Maybe he forgot how to hit toss then. <laughs> tight here in this first game at 12 all. Very good half long serve there. No better feeling as you were alluding to earlier than getting a sweet three point off of a serve. Yeah. Oh. 
Felix misses that counter loop. They've both been warned. Tough time to get a service warning. I feel like Lester's forehand needs to move forward a little bit. He's kind of tentative right now, just kind of keeping it on the table instead of really going for that win. Now's not the time to be tentative when it's Deuce. You've got to take your shots. I'd like to see him go inside out with a couple of these, too. He's getting a little bit too predictable with inside in. Nice call, Brian. There's that service strength. Gets you a free point when you're down. Game point, you can pull out a good serve. 14-14. Nice return to serve, was able to stop Felix from getting an attack. That ball was low, spinny. Felix tried to flip it, but the spin was too great. Lester's up now. Oh, again, he gets a free point with that top spin serve. Lester's got a few of them. I, we've seen four or five already in this match. And he hasn't even used the backhand serve. Nice to have so many options when you're going up to that line. Absolutely. You can hopefully find one that works. So we see in the early goings, extremely even match. Both players are separated. And you know, both players are in the high 2300s. They're separated by only a handful of ratings points. And as we noted earlier, both players also play pretty similar games, I would say. Absolutely. Good footwork, big forehands, spinny serves. And controlled aggression, I would say. They're not going for the Yi Chi Zhang or Xu Shen, <laughs> huge cuts at the ball. Instead, they're relying on their footwork and consistency to really apply a lot of pressure in longer rallies. Felix here is going to look to strike back and even up the score. Texas is leading, though, 1-0 in the contest on the back of a nice win from Tim Wong. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, did he put Tosman on that push? It flew up. Ball could have been wet. Oh. Both players have nice serves. Oh, what a chop block. Wow. <laughs> what a rally. No panic from Felix Chan. Let's Watch check out this here. chop block. Nice flip. This is a reaction chop block. There oh. it is. Felix was able to just touch that ball back. Beautiful. Great touch. Yeah, beautiful touch. Don't want to force that back in. It's the right shot, just he rushed it. Wow. Felix showing his control blocking game there, just using the power, you'll see it here. He's Felix. making it look very easy. Absolutely. But you see he's still moving his feet, even though he's on defense. And staying close to the table, too. You can't play that blocking game if you're backed off. Looks like a little bit like Waldner right there. 
Smooth. Les is not going to be happy with that miss, dumping a regulation backhand into the net. And when you're only playing to 11 points, any unforced error like that is it's going to make you hurt later. Look at that defense. <laughs> Felix is smiling just a little standing bit. Standing there like a wall. Lester is just ripping forehands, one after the other. really like Lester's footwork. Pay attention to how he moves. If you want to learn how to move in table tennis, you can make small steps. You can hear his feet squeak on the floor. Small steps and low. That's right. Body weight is very low. Both players serving very well. You don't typically see this many misses on the return by this margin at this level. That time Felix taking the first attack, showing he's got offense as well as his defense. Yeah, Lester has really been taking the initiative in oh, many of these points. Felix is going to want to rest it away from him here. <laughs> well, if you're playing with blocks like that, maybe not. Just let him waste all his energy taking the initiative, and you just stand there and direct Redirect it whichever it. <laughs> way you want. Nice block down the line. Felix is going to really want to hold at least one of these service points here. Huge difference between 10-6 and 9-7. I have to serve. Exactly. See, those two shots, Felix, I need him to be a little more aggressive. He could have actually looped those balls. He had the chance. Yeah, but he just didn't take it. Watch here on the replay. This ball here is kind of slow. He could have moved in and looped. He just plays it back, passive. Now Lester has two serves to even it up. And he has a repertoire of serves. <laughs> He's going to bring one out here. Good opening. See, that's the thing. Even though he, Felix was leading 9-6, it's not a comfortable lead because he got up there playing passive, and he's still playing passive. Oh, he could time out, though. Hopefully his coach can tell him, you got to go for it here. You can't be playing passive. I love that net cam view right there. See the intensity in his face. You see that spin on the ball too. Mm -hmm. It just <laughs> looks like a magnet or something coming back in the net over and over because that's how much spin it has. <clears throat> this kind of reminds me of the first game. Felix was leading the whole way. Lester came back and took the game. I'd like to see another long deuce battle. Wouldn't that be a treat? See if Felix can take the initiative on this point here. Try to be the aggressor. Oh. oh! 
That's not a block. That's <laughs> a big counter loop. Let's take a look here. Nice drop shot. Lester opens. Felix is just boom with the counter loop. For those of you who don't play table tennis, that is an extremely difficult shot. Lester hit a ton of spin on that ball to get it over the net. And for him to take that and crack it cross court, margin is so thin. Years of training to master that. Uh, here now, though, Felix cannot let these two game points slip away. He had a number of game points in that first game. And if he's looking at a 2-0 hole, he's going to be ruining his missed opportunities. And a little let cord. Lester tried to be the blocker and change direction here. Felix took the first attack there. Almost blocked it on. Felix benefited from a little net cord to just imperceptibly altering the course of the ball. Felix couldn't react in time. You know, I think we're in for a close one. <laughs> yeah, you said it. These guys' rating points separation is only maybe 30 points, if that. They're both at a very high level. and Both have a wealth of experience as well. Lester was on the Canadian national junior team. We have Felix here opting for a Red Bull. What are your thoughts on energy drinks in the match, Barney? Ah, uh, I mean, as long as you don't get the jitters. <laughs> as long <laughs> as you don't get the shakes from all that caffeine. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't try that at home, Barney. I personally have had some very terrible, terrible experiences <laughs> with caffeine, sports, and cramps. There you go. That's they a good went point. to the hospital one time. Like, caffeine dehydrates you. And so in a, in a long athletic affair, it can really hurt. One all. I like Felix starting a little more aggressive this game. Having a strong defense is complemented by a good offense. Both players can do it all. Heavy spin by Lester. Yeah, from back here, could have sworn it was going to be underspin. That thing kicked up. Oh, the umpire says you can't be sitting here. You're not, you don't go to Texas, UT. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> You know, although he lost that point, great speed from Lester to take that serve right here and Turn make it a forehand. Go all the way to the other side. Beautiful. Felix again benefiting from a little net cord there. These things have a way of evening themselves out, though. Absolutely. Although everybody has that guy at their club who just seems to Rack them up. <laughs> net cord after edge after net cord. You hate that guy. It's actually a good guy to practice with. If you can train and practice all those balls, maybe in the game you'll get one or two of them back. That's all it takes is to return one or two of those balls and it changes the momentum. Here we see a huge forehand from Lester. That ball had the top spin that just dove under his racket. Great placement out into the corner. Go! Stop! 
And it's a perfect example with these two players. I like to tell my students that your racket is like your sword and your shield, Brian. You're going to use it for attacking and for defense. It's got to be both. These guys exhibit that very well. Oh. Lester just had no clue when he turns his corner. Felix could go either direction. Yeah. No chance. I mean, it was too high. If you have a nice loose wrist when you're looping your forehand at the last second, you can kind of change direction. You see where your opponent sets up for his block, and you go to the open court. All tied up. One game apiece and 5-5. Five, five. Michigan, the eighth seed against Texas, the 11th seed. Right now, Michigan is down one match to zero in this tie. That was Felix again trying to attack off of that heavy, heavy opener from Lester. That's going to be a risky shot either way, but it's definitely I think the a risky aggression shot. is worth it. Oh! Almost an ace on that serve. Well, that's some good touch, guys. That's a scrappy that's point amazing. there. Let's check it out. Good feeling there. Put the ball back up on the table. A lot of side spin. Lester could control the spin. Ball jumped up. Boom. Felix with a nice forehand. Those are those cat and mouse points that make you feel real good after you win them. Let's see if Felix can take this momentum at 6-all. Both of these athletes are in tremendous shape. And they play very physical. They're moving around. They're running to pick up the ball. They're bouncing. The opportunity was there. Just a little bit more underspin than Lester expected. Lester benefit this time from that net. Lester says it's about time. Look at this <laughs> footwork right here, though. He moves he's, in. He's going to move way left so fast. Bang. Got a little break there. You know, Felix was trying to counter loop and steal that point, though. He was going for that forehand. Absolutely. And now Lester just two points away from taking this third game. He's missed a few of those forehand flips. Got to get a little closer with your upper body. Can't be so erect standing up. You got to lean in a little bit more and get your, get your eyes closer to the ball so you can see what's going on. I'm so impressed with Lester's ability to move left. Yeah, his footwork's amazing. Actually, this is a critical game and win for Lester. Texas is now up 2-0 after benefiting from a straight sets win on table two. Graydon Cook defeating Lawrence Wu. Michigan badly needs this one. And they get this game. There it is. Lester showing a nice backhand loop to take this point. You can see a beautiful view of the hall there, Round Rock, Texas. Here now we got Lester hitting a nice backhand. This one is it right here. Too much action on it for Felix to control. And both of these players are the best players on their teams. Lester needs to take it for Michigan to give them a chance. If he loses, then that will clinch the contest for Texas. I want to go back to a point you made earlier, Barney, about mm -hmm. how your racket is your 
sword and your shield. Correct. I had a coach tell me, think of yourself as a Jedi. You have to have reaction times, you know, like a Jedi. Oh. The ball's coming at you so fast, you're deflecting blaster shots. And awesome. Use the force, young Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Totally read it. Now, if I'm Lester Lee, oh, let's look at this replay here. Good backhand. Little net ball slowed it down. Got a lot of seismic. Here it comes. Lester steps over, Lester finishes the it. point. Oh, he faulted him. The umpire is claiming when he tossed the ball, it had rotation. That is not what Lester wanted there. Not up 3-1. He wanted to blow the match open. He had the momentum, too. Oh, and that's what <laughs> happens. <Did you> see? <laughs> <laughs> no, an edge. Sir, but the ball catches the edge. I was just going to say, this is the soft spot of the match. You know, in the beginning of the fourth game, you can really just blow it open to a 5-1, 4-1 lead. And instead, we have a questionable fault call. And then an edge. Let's see how he bounces back mentally from this. Three all. Bounces back with a little bit of luck of his own. Like you said earlier, they even out. Good serve here. Flip to the forehand, but Felix was ready for that flip. Almost like he set that up. Look how low he was. No! I really like Lester's focus and concentration. He's not letting that couple of points bother him. He's still fighting. Things are getting really toasty now, Barney. So on table two, we have Ethan Chen and Andrew Chen. Both of these guys have played each other a few times in the junior ranks. And now here they are meeting for their schools. Oh, beautiful. I like to call that a turn and burn, huh? Totally fooled Lester. Woo. High level forehand loop. Oh, he does it again. Did it again. When you find something that works, use it. Kind of saunters back, cool and collect. He's feeling it. We can talk about how the momentum had been totally in Lester's favor until that umpire made that call. And then that edge ball. And now look, he's down by two. Down by three. Was he thinking about that fault call when he missed that serve just <laughs> He then? shouldn't be thinking about it, but probably he is. Now we have the makings of a fifth game here, Barney. A do or die situation for Texas if it gets to that point.
Well, we've got. Now, Barney, if you're Lester's coach and you've just seen as they have been, how are you going to keep your player in check and get him to regroup for this fifth game? He has to completely forget about that game. Can't let it, can't bring that baggage in into the fifth game. Absolutely. You know, that, that old phrase, champions have a short memory. It's true. And you're going to need a short memory here. Lester just missing that return of serve there with the backhand. He's missed a few of the short game shots. He's missed some banana flips. He's missed some forehand kills. Mm -hmm. You think he should keep going for it, or are you coaching him to maybe drop it back? No, definitely go for it, but take that extra step because he's got such a nice mid-distance game that he's so good at spinning from both sides. Sometimes he's a little too far back for that short ball. Just got to take that extra step in and convert. Lester opting now for tucking in the shirt. It's getting serious. He wants to get lower. More aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect example of getting into the ball. Felix just showed us how you get into that short ball and flip it. He steps in, drops one. The next one, boom. You see how close his upper body was to the ball. Very important. Not able to do it twice in a row. He tried to change direction there. The last second. Not a time to be passive, Lester. You gotta go for it. Use your strength. Move and use that forehand. So tough to move quickly when you're tight, tired on the third day of a long tournament. That being said, it's moments like these that you train for. Absolutely. Mm. Great combination. Good opening and follow up with the forehand by Felix, UT Texas. Right in the body there. Esther could not get out of the way. Heavy spin. The only way that can be effective is if you have a no spin serve to go with that heavy serve. You see here, the ball drops right down. But the motion was the same, so Lester wasn't sure what was on the ball. Here comes your favorite serve, Brian. Oh. Felix had the opening. He hadn't missed hardly any of those this whole match. So the side spin from the serve was still on that ball. That's, well, that's what, pulled, what was going that's on. That's what pulled him wide. Because Lester's serve is very spinny. Side and under. Mm -hmm. It was still on the ball. Defense, Felix able to stop Lester's first loop. Going back to what you were saying about that reverse tomahawk serve, still having side mm -hmm. two, three shots later. That's the beauty of the sport. You know, that amount of spin is not found in other sports. Lester opens on that half long serve. Good opening. Felix tries for the counter loop, just missed the table. Could not be closer here at five all in the fifth. So you see there, Lester was able to fool Felix this time, make it look like it had some heavy under, but there was no heavy under on that ball. Popped it right up. Popped right up. There was heavy no spin on that ball. <laughs>
for yes. once. Lester's footwork is not quite there. You saw him kind of stick wanted his butt turn. out. He wanted to turn around on that ball, but when it's the fifth game like this, your legs are extra heavy. Exactly. If there was a weakness, I would say both of these players have a weaker backhand than their forehand. But their footwork is so good, that it's hard to find their backhand. Lester opening up on the half long, taking advantage. A brave shot off of the serve. You really got to commit if you're going to try to make that shot. Absolutely. Now we see Felix not committing all the way on this ball. He's back here. He look, look, he reached. See that? Instead of getting that upper body close. Everything changes when it's the fifth game. You little things. Wow. Lester pulled that ball out of his stomach. Look at this. Whoa. Nice, but Felix ready to counter loop. Stayed right there, calm. Felix raising his level. Try to match Lester's. He's been targeting the body with some, some success. Let's see if he does it again here. Look at the power. Exerting into these shots. Amazing get by Felix. Check this out, folks. Lester's in total control here. He pushes Felix back away from the table. Felix fishing. Lester puts his whole body into this one. Jumps in the air on this next one. Boom. Makes a mistake. When you have a player away from the table like that, you don't want to go to their forehand. You let them into the point. Felix was able to get that forehand in and took the momentum right away. Great timeout. Game is tied, 8-8. Eight, eight. That burns going to the timeout. Mm. You total control that point. You had your player fishing. Not <laughs> he hadn't shown that he could fish over the course of this match, but he did a good job of keeping that ball a little bit deep, waiting for his chance, and then hooked that, uh, that forehand Plenty of side spin. Lester can't even make contact with that ball. Yeah, even though that court, that forehand court looks open, when you have your opponent back there fishing, keep him on the backhand side. Don't let him get that forehand in. That's what they're looking for. This is great action. Both timeouts used now. The pressure Lester's under right now is just unbelievable. His team needs this win or they're going home. See how important it is. Lester is just fighting. Sent chills down my spine. Mm -hmm. Mario. This is heart. Oh. Wow. The breaks of table tennis. That ball just caught the top of the net. Threw off Felix timing just enough where he missed that forehand. This would trade away two or three of his light courts earlier in the match so that Lester can't have this one right there. <laughs> he probably evened out this match, but I'd definitely like to have him in the end of the game versus the beginning. And that's it. Wow. Amazing match. <laughs> that serve. Too much variety in the serve. Lester takes it for Michigan, so they stay alive. Michigan's hopes are still alive. They're down two matches to one. You know, Lester showing a ton of heart in that match. He was totally bamboozled in the fourth game by a fault call on the serve. Ended up dropping that fourth game pretty quickly afterwards. And he had the lead at that time. And then here in the fifth, after dropping a sure thing point on that fishing point uh, at 8-7. Called a timeout and then was able to win three points in a row. So actually a great timeout call. And they keep Michigan alive against Texas.